All right, guys, I just want to get on here, do a little preseason video. Uh, it's September 11th today, and uh, went up, picked up some stuff, good bit of stuff. Um, probably going to die and wax my traps tonight. First, I got to go through, set them all up. Yeah, I'll tell you guys, too, setting up a couple traps, dying some traps, and just getting stuff ready. So, yeah, got a big old box of stuff. So, I'll go through and uh, show you guys what I got. So, got a bag of sheep's wool. I like using sheep's wool uh, a little bit more scent and then stuff to put your bait in too so it lasts a little bit longer. Next up, a little bit of red fox urine. And for, uh, for baits, I got cleats, apple road, predator bait. Um, with that, and I got the classic Dunlap Soul Takers Predator bait. Either I just usually get baits that are good for both fox and coyote. And I uh, got a couple lures Mark June's Predator Frenzy, and then Carmen's Mega Musk. Okay, then I got a few, uh, a few other things. Got some logwood trap dye. And I got a bunch of wax. Oh, just, you know, typical odorless wax. Um, probably a little bit too much, but five blocks of that. And then, this is a, a bag of shock springs. Gonna switch to those this year. Um, got some more J hooks, J hook tool. Finally, finally broke down and bought, bought one of these trap tags and a Sullivan's pan tester. Been wanting one of those. And then three. New MB 550s. Um, just kind of adding to the collection as I go. So uh, I think in this video, I'm just gonna get some traps ready, and then maybe tomorrow I'll die and whack the traps, or maybe even the night. All right, guys. This is the next day. Uh, just as you're doing a few things, getting ready to die and wax traps. Painted a couple dog proofs. This ain't all of them. I got. I just painted a few for you guys. Um, painted them white. This is a normal, normal spray paint. And uh, what I found that does is, uh, you know, painting them a bright color like orange, white, it just gets their attention more, easier for you to find. Um, it don't matter with tunes, you just use normal spray paint. Uh, did it last year, worked great. So, so yeah, uh, got a big bucket, mm -hmm. bucket of traps. There's probably about, I don't know, 13, 14 in there. Got some 110s to do. Not all of them, I don't have that many. Um, but I got a couple, I just left them over at the farm. They're not set or anything. I just forgot to bring them home. Um, I got 14 footholds and then a few, uh, 110s. So, uh, I'm just gonna take a wire and put them in a group of like four or something and put them in there. Um, these new traps, I got them yesterday. I put some vinegar over them overnight and they got a good coat of rust. You need to get rust on there before you die. So that's it. Those two and then that one got a good coat of rust just by putting white vinegar on them a couple times. So. All right, so I definitely need a bigger pan or pot, but I think I got seven traps in here. As you can see, I wired them off so that way when they're done, I can just pull them out by that. So I just grouped, there's a group of four and three. So hopefully the water covers all of them. So yeah. All right, guys, these traps are dyed and waxed. As you can see here, turned out pretty good. Um, just put them in buckets now and go put trap tags on them. All right, guys, down here in the first shed, got all my, uh, all my traps done, trap tagged, all that. So my trap set up this year is an MB550 offset jaw, uh, two coil, um, running, not sure how many inches of chain, and I got shock spring, and I got super stakes, 
which I really like. I think super sticks are the best stakes for rocky soil. Got the trap tag on there, all my information on it. Um, so yeah, and I wanted to show you guys too. So here's one of the new MBs I got yesterday. As you see, just with one night with vinegar on it, it's super black and the dye stuck to it really good. Um, I just want to show you guys that. Vinegar is probably, white vinegar is a very good way to rust traps up enough to have a good stick to it. I got those all on a tote. Um, I'm going to cover them up with something so that way no scent can get to them. Uh, they're ready to go. Um, I could go sell them right now and catch a critter if I wanted to. I wish I could, but it's not season. Um, next, I kind of want to go through my baits and lures I'm going to use this year. Alright, so here's some of the baits and lures got for this season. Um, some new ones, some old ones. Uh, go through my lures first, got some dobbins. Um, I just go out the ones that I like the best. Um, I try you know, many different brands. Um, you know, had success with some of them, like Cayman's Violator 7. Uh, that stuff's just great. Um, it's, it's a go-to for a lot of people. I really like it uh, towards the colder months when scents don't linger as much. Um, what else? I haven't tried these two yet. Just got these two this year. So can't say much about those. Uh, last call. for taker lures. This stuff's great. Love it. Um, had great success with this stuff. Um, what else? Dobbins Tri Nitro. Can't complain. It's done me good. Um, so yeah, those are my three go-tos, I would say. Um, last Call Violator 7 and Tri Nitro. You know, I don't got too many lures. Um, but yeah, these are the ones I've been using for this season. Moving on to baits. Um, two new ones, two old ones. Uh, this is an old one, Rage Predator bait by Dunlap. I've caught some stuff on this. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, I think I caught um, a couple foxes and a bunch of raccoons on it. I uh, can't complain about it. Next up, Cavens Violet or Cavens on Walter Valley. This stuff is just awesome. I've caught. I think I use I use this a lot last year. As you can tell, there's like none left. Uh, it's a great bait. Uh, one of my favorites. I think. Uh, new baits to try this year is uh, the old classic Soul Taker. It's a different, this is a lot different smell than any of the baits I got. Um, I'm excited to use this one. Next is uh, Cleats Apple Road Predator Bait. This stuff is definitely different too. Like, you know, these two are kind of similar. Even this one's similar to these other two, but uh, it's not as aggressive, which I like. Because um, early season when, you know, smell lingers a little bit, you use that. And then an old bag of sheep wool. And then for coons, you know, I just use, like, here's, like, some blackjack coon lure. Uh, my main's fish oil. Love fish oil. Um, and then I use dog food for dog proofs. And then red, red fox urine, that's pretty much all I use for urine. Um, I got a spray bottle out there. This is just a fresh bottle. So, yeah. This is just my bait bag. It's just a husky bag, a uh, tool bag. Got all the base down in there. Some lures, too. Sheep full. All that. Now the plan is this year is to be trapping off of a quad. So last year I trapped on foot, which was kind of a pain. Um, and it was very difficult to keep organized. Uh, Cause I carried a lot of stuff and you know, everything went into that bucket. Um, my goal this year with a four wheeler is to be a lot more organized with stuff. Um, be a little bit better with scent control. Cause last year, a lot of things got ruined cause I wasn't organized and uh, but I'm hoping this quad I'll be able to carry a bunch of dirt, you know. I think the quad's gonna make my life easier. First, first thing I gotta do before I can really ride this too much, I gotta put a new engine in it. So I'm gonna buy one here, hopefully this week. And uh, be a good quad, four wheel drive, all that. Um, I'm not sure, probably gonna make uh, like bins or like wooden boxes for the front and back. At least the, probably the back. So that way I can have like a bin for my traps, a bin for, like I said, a bucket of dirt in, um, a bin for my trapping bucket, my trapping bucket, and then 
the front I'll just put, you know, that's where I'll put the dead animals. Um, really excited to have a quad this year. I'm just hoping that we can actually get it running good enough to trust. But uh, it has a winch on it too. I just got to get a new solenoid for the winch. Um, then that'll work. One more is the last thing I wanted to go over with you guys. Just my trapping bucket. Um, got some urine, fish oil on the side there. Um, this year, going along with the more organized things. Get this open. Instead of using this for bait and lures, this is going to be my tool. So here I got trap tags and an old electrical tape thing so they don't get smushed. Got them all right now, written out. You know, some extra J-hook scissors, wire cutters, pliers, um, J-hook tool. So I hope you enjoyed that little preseason video, guys. Uh, we still got a, got a little bit over a month to go, but uh, I just want to get my stuff done before October 1st. Cause that's when deer season starts. Once deer season starts, I'm going to be busy. Uh, hunting, skinning deer down at the butcher shop, uh, doing all that, plus with school and stuff. Uh, my schedule is going to be tight, so I like to get this stuff done in the warm months. So that way, you know, October hits, I can just focus on deer hunting. And then trapping season obviously follows that. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.